This clip demonstrates how to create an LGATE project with a predefined BACnet site. Open your Lynx configuration software and establish a connection to your LGATE device. Now you can do a BACnet scan. Go to the folder BACnet Network Scan, click the right mouse button and select Scan BACnet Network. Press the button Discover Devices. Now the BACnet site will be scanned. All found devices will be shown. Select the device holding the data points you want to utilize in the LGATE device and press Scan Objects. Close the scan menu and you find the data points of the device in the new folder. Select the data points you want to use. For this example, I select all data points. Click the right mouse button and select Use on Device. All selected data points can be found on the BACnet board of the LGATE. Now you may select the data points you want to use on the launch site of your facility. I again select all data points in this example. Press the Smart Auto Connect button, a menu pops up. Here you can select where you want to connect to. In this case, it's the CEA709 port. For most data points, the BACnet engineering unit of our software knows exactly how to handle the conversion from BACnet data points to SNVID types. But for some data points, we can make a selection. This could happen with an analog value. Here, the proposal is both directions. But we can modify that if we want to. Or we can adapt the SNVID type. Here we can choose if we want a 2-byte or a 4-byte SNVID count. If we are done with the modification or the proposal is good for our project, press the button Generate. The CEA709 data points will be created and can be found at the CEA709 port of the LGATE device. If you take a look at the local connections, you can see the connection between every single BACnet data point and the corresponding CEA709 data point. To finish the procedure, download the configuration to your device.